newlydanish.com. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! All right, today we're doing the Danish government. So we're focusing on current affairs. This is one of the themes for current affairs is the Danish government. So the prime minister and his or her ministers. All right, only two people got this wrong. The prime minister is Mette Frederiksen. All right, so round of applause for the rest of you. All right, so why are we doing this? One of the one of the most recurring themes in the current affairs and the five current affairs questions is um, the government, which is the prime minister and his or her ministers. In this case, her ministers. And um, we focused, today is Wednesday, so we focused on Sunday, we focused on political parties and their leaders, so that's another theme. So we got that covered, and today we're going to cover this. And I will reiterate, um, if you don't do well in this, don't feel bad. Your wrong answers are going to show up in, um, basically, your wrong answers are going to show up on the website, and you're going to be able to go in there and clean them up. Okay, clean the answers up that you got wrong. Um, for the new people, I was supposed to present something here, but anyways, enough talk, let's just move on. Next one. All right, so at the moment we have SJPD, Luca, Kirby, Knight, Anna, and TR in the top five. All right, so I wasn't expecting most of you to do well in this. Actually, I don't expect a lot of you to do well in this Kahoot. But like I always say, don't feel bad if you don't do well, okay? The Kahoots are only to show you your knowledge gaps. And um, once you figure out what those knowledge gaps are, you go and plug them. All right, so 21 people got this wrong. Jakob Elman Jensen is uh, the vice prime minister and the economy minister. He used to be the defense minister as well but he gave up that position all right moving on to the next one all right so it's the top five reshuffle up 20 places wow wow so omo is up 20 places highest climber excellent next one All right, round of applause. Okay, so Lars Lucker Rasmussen is um, the foreign affairs minister. Eight people got this wrong, so now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. On to the next one. Top five reshuffle. Saha has a streak with three correct answers in a row, and he's on fire. He's on fire! We've got 20 questions to go. Right, so 20 people got this wrong. This is an obvious weak spot. Nikolai Wyman is the finance minister. So that's a weak spot for the people that got that wrong. Don't feel bad. It's just a knowledge gap. You will plug it. Tass is the highest climber 
up 12 places. Great job. Next one. All right, so more than half of you got, I think not, just under half of you got this wrong. 27 people. Well, now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. This was probably a combo breaker. By the way, this quiz is on the website already. So if you practice, then you know the answers to this. If you haven't, um, let me just, you know, there's some people here for the first time. So you can find everything on nearlydanish.com. And uh, depending on the, the test you're taking, it asks you which test you're taking. If you're taking impulse ads porn, you go to the quizzes and go through all these quizzes, okay? More than once until you're scoring 80 or 80% 80 or above. For the current affairs, you can see political parties and the leaders, and you can also see the government. Okay, so this, the Kahoot we're doing now is actually this quiz. So if you've practiced with this quiz, you will do well on this Kahoot. All right. Um, five, five players lost their answer streak of four. Sorry, guys. Next one. Yes, Anna, don't feel bad. Just, just figure out what you don't know, okay? Just figure out what you don't know. All right, so this is a very weak spot. I can see 34 people got this wrong. Um, hang in there. All right, we're moving on to the next one. Okay, so TR holding the number one spot, Kirby nine, Krish, Buddha, Nyla. I've seen those names before, especially Kirby nine. Kirby nine is, I think, in top 10, if I'm not mistaken. Tran is up nine places and he is the highest climber great job next one okay this is a really rough one, yeah? 30 people got this wrong. Well, now you know what you don't know. Right, moving on to the next one. TR has the highest answer streak of seven. That's 100%. And uh, TR is on fire. Oh my, he's on fire! This is a pretty difficult Kahoot. I'm sure this person has been practicing. Round of applause. Okay, so you've heard me say this a whole bunch of times. For the people that are here for the first time, this is going to be the first time you hear me saying this. The key to passing this test, okay, is you have to drill yourself on the questions. There's about 1,500 questions that you need to, you need to get the answers to those questions in your head, okay? And you can find all those questions on the website. Do those quizzes over and over and over and over again until it's second nature. And if you put in that work, you will find the test really simple. You'll be done with the test in about five to 10 minutes, okay? Now, of course, it's not a race to uh, see who finishes first. You need to pass the test. So another tip. Read the question slowly, read the answer slowly, and then go ahead and answer. The reason why I put the time limits, I put you under pressure in these cahoots. I give you 20 seconds to answer the question, but in the exam, the actual exam, you have one minute per question. So I put you under pressure here so that you're well-trained when you go to the test. All right, enough talk, we're moving on to the next one.
if it's any consolation to you guys, even I don't know the answers to a lot of these because this is a, a brand new government and um, I'm not well versed in these individuals. So don't feel bad, okay? If you're not doing well, don't feel bad. Next one. All right, Krish has a streak with eight correct answers in a row. Excellent. Oh my, he's on fire. On to the next one. Wow. People are answering really quickly, eh? Okay, so someone is asking, are we going to do this closer to the exam? Yes, we will be going over this again, okay? We have 70 days to the test. The strategy is to get you ready in two weeks. We've been practicing for like over for a month now-ish. Actually, we started 23rd of August. So this is the 20th. So just under a month. If you have been practicing on the website over and over and over again, you are ready for the test. And then the task is to keep you ready for the next 70 days. If you haven't been practicing, it's still fine. All you need is two weeks of very intense work. And the intense work is basically doing those quizzes over and over and over and over again until like the second nature, just two weeks. And then keep yourself ready by refreshing your memory all the time, all the time, all the time. Um, 25 people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. On to the next one. TR is still holding number one. SAJ is back with an answer streak of three. Great job. On to the next one. We are almost halfway through now. Okay, um, 25 people got this wrong. <laughs> yes, this is a rough one, okay? So just hang in there. TR, round of applause. R is back with an answer streak of three. Excellent. At the moment, we have um, TR, Buddha, Kirby, Nine, Nyla, and Dracula. One second. I need to turn off my washing machine. It's making a lot of noise. Abdullah, Ab, Abdul Rah, Rahman, please don't withdraw. Listen. <laughs> oh, God. Listen, it, it's... Uh, if you withdraw, then you, you actually miss out on the learning experience, okay? This is what I say all the time. It's just, to figure, it's just for you to figure out what you don't know. If you don't take part in the Kahoot, you can't figure that out. Okay, so you it's you need to fail forward. That's that's the that's the strategy, and actually that's the way the human brain um, learns. So stay, figure out what you don't know, and plug those gaps. I know it feels bad, you know, to see that you're not doing so well, but just hang in there, figure out what you don't know, and then plug the gap. All right, we're moving on to the next one.
And if it's of any consolation, it's only 23 questions. So the torture is not going to last that long. I know it, it's very painful right now, but just hang in there. It will be done in 12 questions, okay? Um, so Magnus Harnika is the environment minister. TR is holding that number one spot tight. Buddha is right behind him. Kirby Nine up there as well. Nyla and Dracula, all these people have over 10,000 points. That means I think they have 100%, if I'm not uh, mistaken. These people have been practicing. So they've gone through that iterative process of failing forward, figuring out what they don't know, coming back, plugging the knowledge gap and trying again. I keep trying up until that knowledge gap is plugged up. All right, Darby has the highest answer streak of 11. See, Darby is not even in the top five. Wow! Round of applause for, for Darby. So Darby has a perfect score. Perfect score. Because Darby has been practicing. That's all it takes. Next one. All right. Funny one, people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Next one. Static top five. Static top five. All right. So we're looking at the elite players. We have TR, Buddha, Kirby, Nine, Nyla, Dracula. Gush is the highest climber up six places. Excellent. We've got 11 questions to go. Not too bad. This is uh, better than um, before. Only 16 people got this wrong. Next one. Okay, Kirby9 says his internet is down. It doesn't matter as long as you know the answers, man. So Kirby9 is out. Buddha is now at number one. TR fell to number two. Nyla at three on the podium. Dracula four. SJPD back in the top five at five. Viv is back in the game with three in a row and she's on fire. She's on fire. Next one. Everyone should know this, hopefully. Okay, I thought more people were going to know this. He used... Oh. Anyways, I'm not going to give away the answer to the next question. He's he's now the children and um, education minister. 19 people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Next one. Static top five. Static top five. Six players have reached an answer streak of three. Excellent. Um, we've got nine questions to go. Right, 16 people got this wrong, 39 people got this right. Okay, so I don't know how to say this guy's name, Kare Dubbel Beck. He is the Ulenings minister, so he's the one that uh, we should be most familiar with because um, he's basically the one that's in charge of uh, all the immigration stuff and also citizenship. Well, for the 16 people who got this wrong, now you know what you don't know. On to the next one. Dracula back at the podium at number three. Nyla fell to number four. SJPD holding number five. Four plays. It's an answer streak of three. Great job. 
to the next one. We're almost done. Wow, round of applause. All right, only eight people got this wrong. So this is not too much of a weak spot for you guys. Static top five. Buddha, TR, Dracula, Nala, SJPD. Three players just hit an answer streak of five. Great job. On to the next one. Okay, another weak spot. 19 people got this wrong. Not much to be said here. Plug the knowledge gap. SJPD out. Krish in top five. Nate is the highest climber up three places. All right. Someone is asking for the pin. One second. There you go. Okay, so we have um, six questions to go. Next one. Uh-oh. All right, not bad. Only um, 13 people got this wrong. Round of applause. Um, I know this is a tough one, but just hang in there. It's only 23 names. Okay, so you just need to know the answer to... Um, well, actually, you don't even really need to know all of them. The ones that show up are the, uh, the finance minister, the justice minister, foreign minister. Um, those are the ones that show up the most. But it could be anyone. It, it could be that um, the government might choose to make the exam harder than it's than it usually is and ask for some left field guy that has never shown up before. So that's why you need to train on all of them. Okay, Sana is back with an answer streak of three. Not sure if it's a guy or a girl. So. Excellent. Um, at the moment, we've got Buddha, TR, Dracula, Nyla, and Krish. Five questions to go. Another weak spot, Thomas Danielson, Transport Minister. Okay, TR back at number one. Sassy is making a comeback with three in a row. She's on fire. We've got three questions, four questions to go. Okay, this one was bad. Damn. Uh oh. Okay, so 30 people got this wrong. Well, now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. Next one TR, Dracula, Nyla, Buddha, and Tess. SJPD is making a comeback with three in a row. Oh my! He's on fire! Three questions to go.
All right. Not bad round of applause. Wow. Dracula came through at the last minute. Wow! So it's Dracula, Nyla, TR, Felton, number three, Buddha at four, and Tess at five. Darby has the highest answer streak of 21. Wow. Wow! Perfect score. Who is Darby? Round of applause. I've actually never seen this name before. So um, this is really impressive. Great job. Great job. Okay. Next one. Okay, not, not bad, only 14 people got this wrong. Okay, so before we go to the last question, if you're here for the first time and you've missed all the Kahoot sessions, you can find um, the sessions on YouTube. So you just go to YouTube and type Nearly Danish TV. And um, if you look under playlists, you'll see the sessions for winter 2023. And you can just watch them to catch up. And um, I highly recommend that you do that because while we're doing these cahoots, I share a lot of, um, you know, tips and tricks on how to pass the test and also how to, uh, you know, plug in knowledge gaps. And I also apologize for sounding like a broken record. Um, all right. We're moving on to the last question. At the moment, we have Dracula, Nyla, TR, Buddha, and Tess. Krish is back with an answer streak of three. and. Um, just before we move on, I'd like to show you the, the official Danish government website, right? And you can find all the ministers here. Okay, so this is all of them. And if you click here, you see all the names. So I highly recommend that you go here. I'll share this link and um, you have a look. All right, moving on. Last question. Right, so 18 people got this wrong, 36 got this right. I'll give a round of applause to everyone that stayed. Um, this is for staying, round of applause. Like I always say, it doesn't matter if you actually don't get the questions right, it just shows you what you don't know. Um, give me one second, I'll show some people asking about the YouTube channel. I'll just post the link in there as well. So, the strategy is to plug your knowledge gaps, okay? Don't um, don't feel bad if you're not doing well in these cahoots. The cahoots are just there to show you what you don't know, okay? Kirby9 got 23 out of 23. Round of applause to him. And I just posted the YouTube channel in the chat. All right, podium time. TR at number three, Nyla at number two, and Dracula at number one. All right, we have Tess and Darby at number four and five. NewlyDanish.com.